This is a video tutorial on how to set up PyCharm to be used with Dragonfly and to develop extensions. This is described in the developer web page and we will follow these steps in this tutorial. The first step is making sure that Dragonfly is properly installed. So let's check it out. everything seems fine. So step one, registering DLLs. This is to make sure we can use PyCharm and start Dragonfly. And so I will start a command prompt as administrator. I will go to my location where Dragonfly is installed. See profiles. Dragonfly. I installed it in Dragonfly 3.5 just to make sure I can have multiple versions on my machine. So I will just get in here, copy, and change the directory, paste. I'm here. I can type register dlls.bat and making sure that types register successfully is written in here. That's all we have to do in here. Step 2, downloading and installing PyCharm. Download now. You can use the Community Edition, which is free and has all the required features. It is downloading. Next, I will put it in the default location. Uh, I don't need these um, shortcuts, but I will associate the .py files, which is the default extensions for Python files. You can continue, JetBrain in the startup, the start menu. I will pause just for the time of the installation. Okay, the setup is complete. I don't need to run right now. I can click on finish and close this page. Now we'll do the setup. Okay. Uh, this first step of set up, setting up for starting Parchum is very important. I will discuss that just a bit later, but for now let's go to this folder I have mentioned, Dragonfly Installation Path, which is um, Dragonfly 3.5 in my case and we will need to get this file set evars for Python IDE dot bat this one. I will make a copy and I will paste it on my desktop. And I will rename it well, rename it start by charm. I'll have to edit. All these first lines should remain there. I'll just add a new line. This path getting to PyCharm. So just to make sure I have the correct path, I will go to my installation folder for PyCharm, program files, JetBrains, PyCharm Community Edition 2018, I just downloaded, binary, and PyCharm 64. So I will copy this location, double quote,
paste pycharm64.exe double quote I save and close and close that edit add the path save close rename the file for start by charm and what I've said in here to move the file in this original location can be done we'll have to start PyCharm from that new file but um, it's more convenient to leave it on the desktop or at any other location on your machine so you can just leave it there so we will execute this batch file it opens a command prompt uh, a common file to just tell that the different environment variables have been set and PyCharm is now starting. For this complete installation of PyCharm, I will not import any settings. Mm, I'll skip this. Okay, this I can re-minimize. Um, since we're there, before we'll go to the configuration, it is very important not only during the setup of PyCharm, but always to start PyCharm with this batch file. The reason is that these environment variables need to be set for Dragonfly to start from PyCharm. So if you don't, and you just start PyCharm from the start menu you may receive this kind of error message but in any case Dragonfly will not start so always start PyCharm from this batch file to be able to use Dragonfly for the configuration we'll go to open and browse to C forum data ORS Dragonfly 3.5 for this demonstration and Python. Make sure that this is the correct path and click OK. You can keep the, the tips for PyCharm, these are very useful. For now, we'll just close them. We'll go to File, Settings, open the settings. Project Interpreter. And I should find in here. The Python interpreter. Since it's not the case, I will specify it. Go to Add system interpreter and is this correct I should go in program files if it's not the case program files dragonfly in my case it's dragonfly 3.5 my installation path in this um, documentation, I've just put Dragonfly, Anaconda, Anaconda 3, and Python.exe. If it's not the case, you should go in here and select what is your, your file. This is fine. Program files, Dragonfly, Anaconda 3, Python.exe. Now I've got all my packages. Now I should specify my extension folders. We'll go in project structure. We'll go to add content root. Okay. C users. This is Dragonfly user. Add data. We'll call 
or as Dragonfly 3.5 and Python user extensions as written in here. Make sure this is the correct path and click OK. This was for the current user and we will also add the extension for all users. C program data or S dragonfly version Python all user extensions. Okay and OK to exit the settings panel. You will have to wait until the updating indices is complete. This is shown in here. So this takes a few minutes. We'll just have to wait. Well, the indexing is complete. Oh, just got back. OK. Now, since the indexing is complete, we can continue with our procedure. We'll go to uh, Run, Edit Configurations. In that case, normally this is empty. So let's go to Plus, Python, this one, to add a new configuration that will be used to start Dragonfly. We'll put it as start dragonfly. The script field. We'll need to have this minimal startup script. We can just look at program data or s dragonfly Python. And here we have this or s minimal startup script. Python interpreter, we should have this Python 3.6. This is fine. Working directory. This is not correct. We should have these program files. Dragonfly 3.5, which is my installation path. Okay, so I've got start dragonfly, my script, the interpreter. This um, representation of the pod interpreter may, do, may be different depending on your PyCharm edition. Just make sure this is the current version of Python and the working directory, program files, and dragonfly, the installation path for dragonfly. This is fine. OK. Uh, before we go further, we can remove these exception breakpoints. Run view breakpoints. I'll take off. OK, they were already taken off in my case. And then we are ready to start Dragonfly. You can hit the Run button and see if everything is fine in the console that is opening. first time it may take a little bit longer than the other ones. If there is error messages they will be put in here but I can see I've got Dragonfly starting. So this is all for this explanation for how to set up PyCharm. In the next video tutorials we will see how to use a console and how we can debug Dragonfly with PyCharm. Thank you for watching.